Hey AG, so in this video I'm going to show you how to pull simple HR metrics for your battalion and you're going to start off by opening up that blank HR metrics for a battalion XL. First thing you're going to see is that instructions tab. This tab here is just in case you get lost or you forget what to do, this instructions tab is here for you. Next tab is the stats tab. This is a common operating picture for you to show your commanders and your sergeant majors. You could even put this in command and staff. It just shows all your troops rankings, where they were last week versus where they currently are. It's a great product and tool for you to use. So now I'm going to go ahead and log into iPerms. And just remember, this is a simple HR metric. So it's just DD93, SGLV, and PRR that we're pulling. Once you've logged in, you're going to see those four rows pop up and you're going to press record manager. You can see records, reviews, and reports on the top. You're going to click records. You're going to click DD93s and SGLVs. This is the first report that we're going to pull. You're going to click unit detail. Press OK. Now where it says input UPCs, this is the exact same as your UIC but without the whiskey. So you can either do it one by one, as shown, or you can do all your UPCs together with just a comma in between. No space, just a comma. So I already inputted all my UPCs. I'm going to scroll down and press Save Query and I'm gonna save it under test, but this is just so you guys don't have to input your UPCs all over again. This query will be saved in there, so all you have to do when you go into this page is load query. See that test is in there. I would press that load and then run query after. So my query has popped up. I'm gonna go ahead and press that Excel icon in the top right corner. Save Excel, open file, wait for that to pop up, enable editing, and the first thing I'm going to do is delete those first two rows because those are merged cells. The next thing I'm going to do is scroll all the way down and delete that last merged cell. And I'm going to scroll up. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to that blank HR metrics Excel. I'm going to hit that DD93 tab and you'll notice that the first five columns are highlighted in brown. That is the only information I'm worried about pasting from the query that we just pulled. If I go back to the query, compare the two sheets, I'll notice that oddball out is column B, which I'm going to delete. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the information that I need by using Control shift down Control c for copy. I'm going to paste values only. And you notice how columns F through I automatically populate? That's because those are formulas. So if I go to column E and A to Z that, you notice how column G is conditional formatting. So now I'm going to go to that stats tab and just do some checks and balances and I did notice that my delinquencies did show up for DD93. Moving on to SGLV, I'm going to go back to that query that we pulled and I'm going to go ahead and delete columns E and F. We no longer need those. Scroll up and now I'm going to copy the information that I need, Control shift down. Control C for copy, and I'm gonna paste values only. Again, you'll notice how columns F through I automatically populate. I'm gonna go ahead and A to Z column E. And again, the conditional formatting shows up. So again, I'm going to do the checks and balances for the SGLV delinquencies, then I'm going to move on to PRR. 
I'm gonna go back to iPerms. I'm gonna press that reviews on the top. I'm gonna press reports and click unit detail. I'm gonna scroll down. And again, I'm gonna insert those UPCs. Once those UPCs are inserted, I'm gonna scroll down and save that query once again under test. This is just so you guys don't have to do this all over again. Load query, you're gonna see test is in there. I would press load and then I would press run query. So once that query loads, I'm going to press that Excel icon in the top right corner. And then I'm going to save Excel, open file. Wait for that to pop up. Enable editing. First thing I'm going to do is delete those two rows. Scroll down and I'm going to delete that last row. Now I'm going to copy the information I need by pressing Control shift down Control c for copy, and pasting values only. You'll notice again how columns F through I automatically populate. I'm going to go ahead and go to column E and A to Z that. Scroll all the way down. And you'll notice how there's one in there that says in progress. All you're gonna do is press that cell and drag that cell over to the right two columns. And you'll notice how column H will turn to yes. Meaning yes, that service member is delinquent. Again, I'm going to go to that stats tab and just make sure my delinquencies are showing up for PRR, SGLV, and DD93. And you'll see how the rankings are also conditional formatting and automatically put the rankings for each troop. Before we finish, I just want to give a quick overview for the instructions tab. To make the stats tab represent your battalion, you're just going to change the UPCs in column A and the troop names in column B. Here I'm just going over again for the DD93, SGOV, and PRR tab how you're only copying and pasting those first five columns highlighted in brown and you're not touching the columns highlighted in black. You can obviously put remarks but for the most part you do not touch the formulas. So for the list tab, and you'll notice how in column E, those are your troop names. Well, those are also formulas. So once you press that list tab, you notice how column A and B are also UPCs and troop names. You change those to represent your own. Just like in the cop, do the same thing. And column E and F you do UICs and troop names. So for that none and in progress, just how we had a service member in PRR that was still in progress, we drag that cell over to the right two columns to count as a delinquency. You would do the same even if you had none in SGLV and DD93. Finally, for the most important rule, you will always use a blank HR metrics Excel when you are making a fresh HR metrics pool. Please do not use an old one. Please do not use anything else. Maybe you did one last week. This is just so your formulas do not get confused and you do not mess anything up. So always keep a fresh blank HR metrics Excel on your desktop. Thank you for listening and I hope this helps.